Hi, I'm Mike DeSimone. And I'm Jeff Jensen, and together, we're the World Wine Guys. Welcome to our show, World Wine Guys, What We're Drinking. It's hard to believe that Easter is upon us already. Right but, around the corner. Uh, yeah, yeah, but here it is, and uh, we know the world's opening up a little bit, and uh, people are starting to get together again yeah. for holidays. So today we have three wine suggestions to go with all of your Easter dishes. Yeah, so we hope that you're going to be able to get vaccinated and see family and friends and you know, uh, the experts are saying that we can get together once we've been vaccinated. So um, hopefully this will be a time to share some nice wine with your family and friends. So the first one is a Bouvet Signature Brut. Um, and it is a nice sparkling wine. Yeah, this is a sparkling wine. So um, usually anytime we have the word brut, uh, that's a yeah. little clue that it's sparkling. Yes. <laughs> and uh, this is from the Loire Valley. It is. You may also see it as Bouvet La Dubé that's right. signature brut as well, depending on uh, what website you look at to buy it. Um, but anyway, this is from the Loire Valley in France. It's from mostly the, the town of Samour. Samour, yes. yeah, it's actually Samour and Anjou. Right. Um, you might notice when you smell that, mm. get a little Anjou pear in there, Jeff? Uh, <laughs> isn't it Anjou pear? No, I, Anjou I, pear. Okay. I think so. so um, but anyway, it, anybody who's been to the Loire Valley knows it's a beautiful place to, to be with all the castles and everything. And Samoa is one of the major towns there. Yeah, so. And, the, and so the limestone soils there um, are going to give uh, really good minerality to the Chenin Blanc and the small amount mm -hmm. of Chardonnay that are in here. But let's, uh, let's, let's take this a taste. taste. It smells okay. great. Cheers. 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 Cheers to you. And happy Easter. Mmm. Mmm. I tasted mine already. Yeah, I know. It's really it's okay. good. I was, this is I was what doing the, the deep stuff. <laughs> this is, you know, I, I smell a lot of apple mm. and a lot of, um, like, apple blossom and even a little bit of lemon blossom. Yeah. Yeah, well, and, I mean, on the tongue, you've got, on the palate, yeah. you've got apple, you've got right. lemon. Um, it's made the traditional method the same way that champagne is made. That's right. Um, so Fermented you do have, in the bottle. So you do have those nice um, toasty notes yeah. and in so there as well. Also, like, you know, some of the notes that you get from... Uh, other sparkling wines, you know, that uh, toasted brioche and maybe a little bit of hazelnut. I'm getting some of those. Yeah. So for your Easter dinner or your Easter brunch, perhaps, this would go perfect when you greet your guests. Or this goes really nice with quiches or... Quiches with omelets, with yeah. eggs benedict. Yeah, um, and also, nice. I actually like this with um, turkey or chicken. Too. Yeah, I think it goes very goes well, well with that. So depending on what you eat for Easter, um, this is a really nice sparkling wine, great way to greet your guests. This one is available at Get Wine Online, and it's about fifteen dollars. So it's a great, yeah, it's a great affordable, affordable way wine. to meet your guests. You know, meet your guests. Okay, so now we are going to uh, move from France to France. Where uh, uh, France to France? <laughs> we're going up, up, and then to Oregon. Right, up farther north a little bit. So this is Chateau de Jacques Moulin Avant. Jeff, speaking of speaking French, what does Moulin Avant mean? You all know that Moulin Avant means windmill. So, so this is one of the uh, 10 crews of Beaujolais. So Beaujolais is um, a part of Burgundy, um, and sometimes there's discussions about that, but <laughs> we're Chevalier de, de Burgundy, and uh, Beaujolais is a beautiful, beautiful place. And the crew uh, vineyards in Beaujolais are beautiful. So. Forget about Beaujolais Nouveau. This is something that's made in a wonderful style. Yeah, this is a single a, village yes. appellation. Um, and this actually comes from eight different vineyards yeah. in Moulin Avant. And this is Gamay. So instead of the grape being Pinot Noir, as it often is in Burgundy, this is Gamay. And in general, Gamay is a little bit lighter and uh, fruitier than Pinot Noir, but um, pretty similar. I'm getting a lot of like blueberry, <sighs> cherry, Vanilla on the nose. Yeah. Let's see if yeah, that... Yeah, no, I get, I get that as well. Let's see if that transfers to the palate. Okay, so, so cheers, cheers to you. And, and cheers, cheers to you, everybody. Happy Easter. Yeah, mm. those are amazing flavors coming through on the palate. I'm getting some really nice dark cherry, um, some red raspberry even. Yeah, yeah, there's some really vanilla on that. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely more, if you think of um, 
of you know Beaujolais Nouveau is is always like super fruity and very light. Right. It's just you know done in stainless steel, and this has a lot more body yes. to it. And this any, is much more elegant. It's a much more elegant wine, and this goes really well with um, turkey or chicken. It also goes with ham mm -hmm. as well. Um, or even if, lasagna. Yeah, even lasagna. That's true. I was yeah. just going to say that. If my family, Come on. If Mike's always, family, whenever you get together with Mike's family, there is lasagna on the table. There's always lasagna on the table. There's lasagna as well. So. <laughs> and uh, this is available at wine.com, and it's $24. Great wine. All right. So now, speaking of Pinot Noir, we're moving from <clears throat> uh, France and Gamay to Oregon and, and Pinot, Pinot Noir. Noir. Right. And this is Resonance Willamette, Willamette Valley. Willamette Pinot Valley, Valley, right? I can't believe I almost mispronounced that. Uh, the Willamette. I think a lot of people call it Willamette, 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 but, but it's, it's Willamette, Willamette Valley. Yeah. Um, so as we've talked about before, we've. Uh, Poured other wines from, from the Willamette Valley. Mm -hmm. It's one of the finest growing areas in the United States right. for Pinot Noir. Um, I think so. There's also been a lot of uh, French investment, and Resonance was actually founded by the owners of Louis Jadot. Right, right. And in fact, the Louis Jadot winemaker. Jacques Lardier, who yeah. is a, uh, a legend among winemakers in the world is making this wine now in Oregon. I, he was supposed to be a little bit of a... He retired. A retirement, but I think he's <laughs> he, probably working harder and now. Then, and then he took the new job. So let's <laughs> give this a taste. Cheers. 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 Cheers again. Wow, very nice. Oh, wow. Mm. Really beautiful. Yeah, that's got like that black cherry, raspberry, yes. yeah, um, all those vanilla, wonderful Pinot Noir. A little flavors. bit of spice, really, really nice. I mean, classic Pinot Noir in the true Burgundian style, and with you know with nice tannins, but they're not really heavy. They're not really overpowering. Yeah, this is aged. I know only twenty percent of the oak is new. You know, we've talked about this before. Older right. oak imparts a softer profile, mm -hmm. um, so twenty percent makes it just just adds you know a little bit of that um, that spicy and that vanilla flavor and I mean this is terrific again with ham um, with turkey, yeah, turkey with well. roast chicken That's but right. also if you're a lamb family this will go very well with oh, your this Easter lamb perfect with as that. well or a fresh pork roast yeah. oh that's true yeah yeah this is a really really lovely wine that, that really complements some of those nice lighter meats um, I think this is a beautiful wine um, well very French style coming from the Willamette Valley in, in Oregon. Um, it'll grace your table for um, Easter, we hope. Yes, and this is available at b21.com, and it is $30. So I'm just gonna keep smelling this You keep day. smelling that? I will, uh, I'll close us out. Cheers. So again, thank you for watching World Wine Guys, <laughs> What We're Drinking. I'm Mike D. Simone, And I'm Jeff Jensen, and uh, we'll see you next week. Cheers. Cheers.